Hey team, how's it going? I'm Corey, and thanks for joining me today. Um, this evening I think we are gonna work on some more of these gossip glomer challenges that I started last uh, stream on Sunday. Let's take a look at what these are quick in case you aren't familiar. Uh, so these gossip glomer challenges are a series of distributed systems challenges brought to you by Fly.io and Kyle Kingsbury, who wrote Jepson, the tool that helps you uh, do some like testing and verification of distributed systems. Um, and they put out these series of challenges where you build like a little CLI kind of app that talks over standard in and standard out, and you send messages back and forth to varying instances. I mean, it uses this platform called Maelstrom that um, lets you build one of these nodes, and then it, it handles the messaging between it, and you just talk over standard in. Uh, standard in and standard out. Um, so I worked on some of these on Sunday. And uh, we're going to continue working on them today. So on Sunday, we got through Echo, where Echo is basically just like, can you understand the protocol? And um, simple getting started here. Let me adjust my camera a little bit. Um, and then the next one was generating unique IDs for every um, across all the nodes to make sure that IDs were unique. Um, and this one was really easy, besides that I had some trouble with the in and output. Um, I just gave every um, thing an ID based on the node it came from. And then going on to broadcast. Um, this is the first one where like you're sending messages between nodes and um, things like that. And it's the first time that we actually get to like really use the fun bits of Maelstrom because it actually like will simulate a network partition where like you can't talk to some nodes for a certain amount of time and then like the network heals and you can talk to them again um and that's kind of where we're at now so there's different like part a b c's of number three here and so part a was a single node broadcast where you just like build the basics but there's only one node um and then we moved on to two which is multi-node broadcast and I think that is the last one I am passing. So let's actually go in here. So I have in broadcast. I have some nice little scripts. So let's try run A. And this is going to be part A for the moment. And we'll see a lot of fun output. Um, it'll You'll see it'll send all these messages to my nodes. Some reads, some broadcast messages, all kinds of fun stuff. And if I get lucky and uh, slash the code works the same as it did on Sunday... We should see a nice um, all green message at the end here. Waiting for recovery. There we go. Everything looks good. Awesome. My uh, Tmux is breaking, but that's okay. Um, everything looks good on that test, and then we can do B where B is going to have multiple nodes. Oh man, it's going to look, it's going to mess up my terminal even more, but that's okay. It'll still run the test fine. How is everyone doing on this Wednesday night? Thanks for joining me. And I think this one ran our B here. Ran for 20 seconds, so we should be wrapping up. Oh yeah, we're waiting for it to tear down here, I think. And again, awesome, we get an everything looks good. But if we go and run it on C, and if you see, C adds this Nemesis partition, which is indented weird, let's fix that, awesome. Um, it adds the Nemesis partition to it. And sorry, I'm gonna uh, do some Tmux wrangling here. Okay, there we go. Uh, CD into broadcast, broadcast, and run script C. So C adds this network partition, a uh, nemesis partition, and what that's going to do is it's actually going to, you know, create a partition in our network and not let all of our nodes talk, and that's going to be the, the end of my um, broadcast node. That's going to bring it tumbling to its knees at the moment. Um, and we'll look at this in code, but the main reason for this is that um, I'm just going to send and forgetting these messages. So 
let me let me like recap and go over what we're doing here so the whole broadcast challenge here is basically to implement a gossip protocol so you send a broadcast message to one node and it needs to send it to all the other nodes or send it in a way that makes sure it gets to all of the nodes um and yeah here we go analysis invalid we can see that um i dropped or was stale on all of these and so you know we could we could debug what's going on but basically the idea is that when i get a event i need to gossip it to all the other nodes in the cluster um and we're kind of doing that so um we are doing a bit of gossiping i don't think we were on the end of sunday stream but i got really excited sunday and i worked on it for a little bit longer until i hit a different roadblock that we will chat about in just a second um, but when you handle a request, if you got a message, first you check to see if you already have it. And if you already have this message, we just, we're like, okay, cool, I'm done. I can just return an okay message and, and we're all good. Um, but if you're receiving this message for the first time, we save it. And then we look through all of our peers and we gossip this message to each of our peers. Um, and what gossip's doing is it just does two things. First, it adds it to a gossip queue. And second, it sends the body um, to the different nodes. So it sends one message to each different node. Um, and this works really well for the non-partition network. Oof, sorry. Um, because we send this broadcast to each node and so it propagates. So, you know, if we had to broadcast for the event one or number one or whatever, we'll rebroadcast to all the other nodes and eventually they should all get it. Um, the problem is though that send body makes a network request and we don't know that that is necessarily going to succeed. And if we look at send body right now, it creates a message and then it calls send message and all send message does is writes it to standard out um, and returns OK. So we're not in these code paths, we're not receiving the message back that we sent. So we will get a broadcast OK response back from everyone we gossip to if they received the message. Um, and so we need to do a little more about that. And that's actually what I had worked on on Sunday off stream. So if we go back up to that gossip method again, uh, which is in main. Um, the other thing you'd notice is that we add it to the gossip queue, which I said we ignored. We were going to ignore for a second. So the gossip queue is just a vec of broadcasts that we need to send out here. Um, and so, sorry, I was getting confused whether we needed to add destination to this queue. Um, if broadcast was enough, but uh, let's keep going for now and come back to that in a minute. So the idea here is that we want to remember all the things that we needed to gossip in this queue. And then if you got a response or if you got a request if you got something in standard in that was a broadcast okay that means you must have gossiped to somebody and they were telling you hey i got that message so what we want to do here um this second half is like kind of wrong because we are doing fault tolerance now or trying to um so what we want to do here and i don't actually like this implementation i think we're probably going to rewrite it in a second is we say okay this broadcast OK message must have been in reply to something. That in reply to is going to be the message ID of something in this queue. So what we need to do is we need to get rid of anything that was in the queue that we now got a response to. So we're going to basically just remove one item, whichever one was the one um, that this was in response to. And I don't think, but I don't think this verifies, you, I don't think you should ever get a you should never really get a broadcast OK response for a message you didn't send. Um, but that's not um, in this code path, but that's OK. Um, but let's rewrite this because I don't actually like this. We make a new vec and then we just like loop over and, and shove things in. I think we can do this a lot easier with like just some Rust methods a little bit. I think we can do self.gossipq. Um, I think there's like a retain method. Yeah, so we're going to do... A retain and what retains gonna do is um, it's going to keep the thing as long as this is true so it's gonna keep the element in the queue as long as the its message ID is not the thing being replied to so if we're replying to this message it's gonna delete it from the queue and now we need to there now we don't need to now we can delete all of these lines of code 
Um, but that's just cleanup. That's not actually going to change our implementation at all. Cleanup. Um, uh, receiving. Okay, broadcast, okay. I um, mean, I guess just to be, before I commit, I guess, right? Just to be sure. We should run B again, which is our non-partition network, and just make sure it still passes. And in this 20 seconds, I'm going to grab myself some more water because I drank that very quickly. Look at that timing. I saw it say everything looks good as I was getting back to my desk. Okay, awesome. Um, and actually, that doesn't even prove that it worked because um, we don't technically look at this gossip queue ever um, without when we... at all, really, right? Like, we remove things from it so that it should get to empty, and it probably got to empty in this case because everyone should have responded with a broadcast okay. Um, but never, like, guaranteed that or anything nothing checks that that is true um awesome so then i think well like i want to do in in theory and but it might take us a few steps to get there is i think we're gonna need to use threats we're gonna need to do two things at once now i, I thought for a while oops i thought for a while for all of these challenges we were gonna be able to just be single threaded and just you know when we get a request, send a response, and like that was going to be the end of it. Turns out distributed systems aren't that simple. Who would have thought? <laughs> um, and what we re we need now is we need something that like every so often retries this gossip queue. Um, so like maybe every few seconds, pick a time frame, we try again through the gossip queue and try to resend anything that maybe got dropped or something like that. Um. And like we want to do that not when we're getting request responses and like i could figure out some fancy way maybe of saying like if you wait too long to get a request go and do other work or i can just split it up and say we have two threads basically one that does requests one that does responses um and something like that it might be a little it might be something in the middle i think what i want to do now i was thinking about it on sunday is i think i want to use some of the rust async stuff uh, with wakers and I think we can create this really cool system where you can just do like you would in an async HTTP client. You can like send a message and await its response all in line and it'll just use the wakers and stuff. I think it's going to be really cool. Um, so I think that is probably what's next here. I guess this doesn't really need that, right? We're just, I guess I don't really need all that waker and async stuff at the moment because I handled the response right like we are technically okay with receiving our responses we don't need this to be like really in line it's pretty fine that we just do it in separate places you know we send the request wherever we call gossip and we handle it down here like that's okay um yeah i think that's okay for now um and i think what we will Maybe want to do that eventually, because I do think it sounds fun, but I don't think we need to for this case. So I think here we really just do need to pull open a new thread and be able to, like, mess with this gossip queue. Um, but to pull something into another thread, we're already going to do some, do, have to do some fun things. Like, broadcast node probably can't all be, like, we can't have it in multiple threads, so are we gonna, we're probably going to have to send messages back and forth. Um, so we're gonna probably need a few different threads that all do slightly different things, maybe. And I think that's okay. It's just gonna be a little, a little interesting. So let's take a look at our main here. Um, and let's just take a look at how it works. So we take our standard I.O. We read the first line of it and make a node. We wrap that node in a broadcast node, and then we just call run. 
and run is the thing that handles um responses so run here could maybe be renamed to like handle requests um it just loops and handles requests forever basically right um so yeah let's let's call that handle requests and so now is where like we might want to move things around to different nodes um and maybe we don't just want a broadcast request struct maybe we want a few different pieces so maybe what's broadcast node right now this has an inner node and received values maybe this besides gossip queue i think we're going to move gossip queue somewhere else so this is maybe a um request handler well just call it a handler eh, request handler awesome i don't really need the type there at all um okay so we have a node request handler i think request handler might remove the gossip queue but this one's gonna be a little iffy um i think we're gonna remove the gossip queue um and we'll see why in a moment um because the other so, so the reason we're gonna do that is because this is gonna move to another thread um Rust new thread. Um, I think thread spawn. Perfect. What I want to do is just spawn a thread that does node.handle requests. Um, perfect. Uh, Im qualify this as standard thread. Awesome. Okay. So now this is going to happen in another thread. Um, but the thing I want is I now I'm going to make a new struct because this is the thing that's a request handler. Now I want a struct for, um, gossip manager. This is where we're going to have our gossip queue. Um, and then I'm going to need a way to send messages between these. Um, so Rust channel, I think is what I'm looking for. Channels, yeah, these. Um, so in the standard library, we get a multiple producer, single consumer channel. Multiple producer, single consumer. Um, and I know there's crates that can give me multi-producer, multi-consumer. I don't think I need those. Um, because I think this is all I'm gonna need. Um, so we're gonna add these things for a sender and a receiver type so in our request handler we're gonna do a gossip um handler um and this is gonna be a sender right sender is that the type sender yep sender of something <laughs> um where sender is a qualify as this okay so yeah we're gonna have it send something and i think we're gonna make a new you know, there's going to be a lot of stuff going on. We're going to need a new message that we can send um, in our channel. Um, and it's going to be either gossip, a broadcast to a destination, or it's going to be got response um, for a message ID. Perfect. And then, so that's what we're going to send to our gossip manager. So from requests, we're gonna say, hey, I need you to gossip, or hey, I got I got a response to our gossip. Um, and then our gossip manager is gonna be a receiver, is gonna have a receiver. And this is a receiver of gossip messages. Perfect. Um, and then while we're thinking, actually let's wire these up first. Let, um, I think it's sender receiver. So this is gossip sender gossip receiver. Yep. Awesome. Um, request handler then gets gossip handler gossip sender. 
Um, and let's make a node here. Let's just change this to request handler. Um, so then let's make let. Oh, whoa. Ah, oh, that is right. Gossip manager. Um, takes the gossip receiver and our gossip queue. And we can. What don't you like? Oh, we're not returning. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Um, sponsor through. through oh, yeah. Okay. So I actually need to uh, join these eventually. Uh, let request thread handle. Uh, that's a join handle. Yep. Um, okay. So then let gossip join handle. Um, and this like is going to not quite work just yet. Um, awesome. So handle gossip, which doesn't exist yet, but let's generate that method. Um, and yeah, doing it to do right now is fine. It, it'll crash. Uh, result. Okay. Result of nothing. Awesome. Okay, so this should probably compile. Um, can't be shared. Ah, oh, okay. Gossip message. Gossip manager. Wait, why can't you be shared across threads? Receiver can't be shared across threads within the trait sync is not implemented. Oh, okay. Um, so I can't send this receiver across threads. Maybe that's another reason to use the crate, the cross beam, I think is what it's called. Cross beam channel. Yeah. Um, it's an alternative to this with more features and better performance. Okay. I guess I should probably just use this one. Um, cargo add cross beam. Awesome. Okay. And then instead of this channel, uh, we're going to end up calling unbounded, actually. Unbounded. Um, awesome. Yeah, okay. Um, gossip manager, all of these are wrong. Uh, receiver. Uh, import it from crossbeam now. Sender. Let's import it from crossbeam now. Um, and then, yeah. Move things into the closure. That'll be great. Awesome. Okay. That was easy. We switched out to crossbeam channels with basically no work. Um, okay. So now we have two of the pieces, but I think we actually need one more piece. So our request handler is really the thing that's responsible for standard in, right? It takes things from standard in and does something. We also need a thread that's just in charge of standard out because we don't want to write to standard out from two threads and have them like half JSON over each other or something like it would just be really weird. Or if it, they're using locking, they might just panic. It'll it, it'll be bad. We don't want any of it. So what we're going to do is we're going to write a new one. We need a new thing. A struct. Um, and actually, we probably we might not even need a real struct here. Um, so let's just write it here. I think the other thing we're going to want is another unbounded um, where we do let um, standard out sender and standard out receiver um, equals unbounded. Yep. Um, and it's unbounded of a message. Oh, of, of what kind of message? Ooh. Interesting. I didn't think about that. Uh, is it just a string? Do I just tell you to send strings over the wire? No, I don't really want you to just send strings over the wire. Oh, 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 I know. It's a, uh, it's a message of response body. I have the type here. I forgot. So message is just, um, generic because I'm using it in common. When I'm in an application, I usually know what body it is. And here it's response body. And then what we want to do is we want to do um, let standard out join handle. 
equals um awesome so standard out receiver dot iterator um blocking iterator over messages calls next um and then returns that however the channel becomes empty and disconnects it returns none without block empty and disconnected yeah that makes sense perfect um for each what do we do we call send okay that's we don't want to call send but it's pretty close um where am i actually doing my standard outing oh yes it's in common right now in main we have a send message so there is a lot of stuff that i'm not using in node right now because we're going all fancy where am i oh that's an echo um so like some of this stuff like we have all of this here that we're like not really using um anymore because of the weird threading so it's like not my favorite to have this in two places and are we gonna have this in two places no it's just gonna move that's actually interesting because some of this is shared and some of it isn't so we are gonna have to figure out what to do for the other ones to see if everyone wants to follow this new world where you do everything in threads or not it's a fun question that i hadn't thought of um okay uh, let's just unwrap here, I think. Uh, we don't... I'm not sure what we're doing for error handling here. Um, cool. Um, and then let's, I think, do some joins here. So, like... Yeah. And then do the next one. Yeah. And then do that one. Perfect. Uh, what's up with that? Oh. Okay. Um. Uh. Oh yeah, join handle over result. Uh, fair. Also, don't. Care, so I guess I just get rid of that and just leave it there. Okay, that works for me. Um, okay, that like we're getting getting somewhere. Um, but we do need two more things. We need to add, we need to yeah, this sender needs to go somewhere. Both are request handler. Um oh yeah, standard out sender. standard out sender um and that one can also go here gossip manager gets a standard out sender um which is a sender of message of response body same thing gets handled by our request handler uh uh, standard out yep dot clone and I guess I don't need to clone this one because like I could just pass this one through okay don't clone at that time awesome okay so we've got all our threads running um I do think that one thing we need to do though is figure out how to actually use our standard out sender so gossip manager um its handle gossip can really just be loop it, it can just infinite loop here that that's fine um i know this is an infinite loop rust it's that's what i want to do there um the only thing now i need to do is make sure that my node my request handler uses the standard out sender and it definitely won't right now because right now it's gonna when it gossips especially but even other times yeah see okay so now we're hitting something interesting where my part one and two were single threaded and they just wrote to standard out whenever they needed to i don't think i can do that super well here and that's gonna break some of the th the assumptions that i've made um 
Because send message is something... Can I have... Wait, wait. I forgot about this. Send message is default defined on this trait. Can I overwrite it here? Yeah, I can. Okay. Never mind. Self dot um standard out sender dot send our message. Um expected response body found body. Oh yeah. Um send message needs to be able to send any type of body. And if I do this, it's not going to like it, right? I can't do self response body. Uh, because now it just says that they don't line up, right? Uh, has zero type parameters, but its declaration has one type parameter. Yeah, okay. Um, okay, so I can't do send message easily because I don't know the body type it's probably the same case for send body right because send body's also that way okay and when i use send body at the moment oh, i was in the wrong spot where am i searching send body yeah so in gossip is where i'm using send body right now um Yeah, okay, maybe maybe the queue just wants to be a, a, a queue of strings or something. Um that doesn't sound crazy. Let's let's do that and, and maybe we'll come back to making this typed later. I would like it to be typed, because I like types. Um but making it a string for now isn't crazy. Um, I'll put do a reference to output. Oh, you can't do that. Okay. Uh, can I do reference to here? Can I do that? Nope. Uh, oh, oh, that's just not right. I see. Got it. Uh, just do that as whatever it needs to be. Now those are strings. Okay, perfect. Um, okay, so now that we can send strings over instead of that, I think our gossip where we do, or actually no, I think now we can make the message. We can overwrite send message here to do something different. So now I can actually work on whatever body, and instead of this, all I just need to do is self dot standard out sender dot send, send the output, unwrap it, um, and then I guess I don't really need the unwrap here. Uh, can I do that? There we go. Awesome. Okay, so send message now in, for this one. We're just gonna send it over, and something else is gonna write it to standard out. I think I'm ready. To, I think I can test this. Let's test it with A first, just to do the single node. Um, this might work. We also um aren't doing our well. We're not doing anything with a gossip queue, but I guess that's fine. Um, we knew we weren't doing anything with that quite yet. My iPad is supposed to show me my stream and it was black, but I was just paused, so it's okay. I got worried for a second. Okay. A is still looking good. B, I imagine, is still looking good. Um, and we can think about the gossiping. I think I'll commit here probably just to like, you know, we got a clean version. Not clean, but we got a working version. Might as well make a commit. I 
think what I would like to do for these these challenges is uh, make some like videos or blogs out of each one. So problem one will get a video, two will get a video, three will get a video, and so on. Um, hopefully all the way through all six of them. And then I can like kind of think of these streams as more the behind the scenes uh, view into stuff. And I think that's just a... Uh, I like that better. I think it fits in with the the, the, the the brand I'm trying to establish here and all that fun stuff. So just kind of chatting while we waited. Okay. That looks good. Let's commit. Um, broadcast now is multi-threaded uh, with messages, with channels and messages and all kinds of fun stuff. Uh, we have a thread for gossiping. Now we just need to use it. Okay. Awesome. So let's start doing something with our gossiping. Okay, so we have our... Everything should be wired up, except I don't think we're actually sending things when we call gossip. We have a gossip method somewhere. Yep, this gossip method. Um, one thing it needs to do is self dot um gossip handler. Perfect. We need to like get this gossip into our gossip handler. So we're gonna make a new gossip message of type gossip with our broadcast and the destination and send it over to our gossip handler. Our gossip handler. Uh, has the loop this loop awesome and actually i think we're gonna do something a little different we're gonna do self dot uh gossip q dot iter into iter did i use into iter before i don't know for each um so then we're gonna match on our broadcast thing here and we have two types wrap and okay wait that's not what i wanted but that's okay um okay there we go. Uh, can't move out of self.gossip queue, which is okay. This just wanted to be an iter, I think. Yep, awesome. Okay, so now we can match on B. Add braces to close your body. Add this. None of those are what I want. I just want you to fill in the thing. Uh, ensure that all possible cases missing match arm is not empty. Yeah, I know it's not empty. That's why I was trying to do it. I'm just trying to, like, freaking force this to multi-line. Yay. Um, and now it doesn't want to do that. Like, why won't you match on this? Yeah. But, like, you're supposed to fill this in for me. I'm not supposed to have to write this myself. Um, this is a gossip message. Um, up type gossip, uh, broadcast and destination. Um, um, yeah, so no, send, standard out send, sender wants to do, um, so that's how do we make the message. So that's going to be however send body works. So if we look at how send body works. Um, we're just going to copy this again. Not the cleanest code, but it'll work. Um, body is our B here. A node ID. Oh, okay. I need to know my node ID. Node ID. Self thought node ID. Um, awesome. So then we have our message. Standard out sender. Uh, so then let uh, output is that. Not sure. Yeah, I was gonna say it's not gonna let me do that right now. Unwrap. Okay. Standard out sender dot send output dot unwrap. Uh, nothing to do there. Awesome. Oh, I think the other thing that we need to do is um self dot gossip queue. 
not push. Um, yeah. Um, awesome. We need to push the thing. Do I need to do that? Yeah, I did need the clone. I don't know. Okay. Uh, let's do that first. It just feels like feels like the good thing to do. You add it to the queue first. Um, expected broadcast found gossip message. Gossip queue. Oh, 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 this isn't this doesn't want to be gossip queue. This wanted to be receiver. Yep. Awesome. Okay. Um, cool. So if we get a response, uh, we want to do self.gossipq.retain. We want to do basically the same thing that we had over there, uh, which is something like this. If you um, had a broadcast, yeah, we're just matching on this message ID. Yep. Okay. We got a response for this message ID. Uh, this is like a in response to... Awesome. Okay. Uh, that can go away now. That should be all our gossip manager needs to do. Uh, no, not really. This is half of what our gossip manager needs to do. The other half is that it needs to, um, uh, occasionally recheck these things. Um... I'm wondering if this was the best. I'm like, I'm not sure this iter is what we're going to keep. Because I think what we really want to do is we want to do a manual loop or something. Um, where we try to do two things. We try to do uh, what we do, like, let message equals... We try to receive. That does a result. So we try to receive and we unwrap it. So we definitely get the receive. And we got a gossip message. Oh, wait, no. Try receive doesn't do what I thought it did. Um, without blocking. Um, it could return some errors. I was kind of thinking it was going to return something with an option. I'd rather have that. What other, what other methods do I get? Uh, is empty is full. Iter, receive, receive deadline, receive timeout. Try receive, try iter, try into. Okay, so maybe we do want try receive. Um... Yeah, I guess we do want to match on it. What are our options here? Either we get an okay. That's... Oh, I see, I see. Uh, this took this code. Um, okay, so if you got a message and it was a gossip message, do this with it. Um, if you... And then if the errors. Yeah, what... I don't want any error. I want to know what the error types are here. Uh, fill match arms. No, okay. Well, what 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 is my error? Try receive error. Okay. Try receive error from crossbeam. Yep. Uh disconnected and empty. Wait. Try receive. Is this still blocking? I didn't think try receive was going to be blocking. Attempts to receive a message from the channel without blocking. This method will either return a message from the channel immediately or return an error if the channel is empty. I guess disconnected. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. So, um, if we got disconnected, then we can break. Why are you mad at me for breaking? Oh, because then do I not return the same type then? That's weird. But, oh, is it just that? That's all it was mad about. Okay. Um, and then if you get an error on the try receiver empty, uh, you just continue. Just, just don't do anything. Uh, continue. Um, or I guess here's probably where we want to do our try again logic, right? Like maybe here we want to try sending all the messages again or something. Uh, let's make sure we still can do all of our things. Nope. Perfect. I forgot to add the node ID down here. Um, node ID equals plop that up there. Node dot node ID dot two owned. Perfect. 
think that'll run again. Oh. Now what? Uh, oh, handle gossip. Yeah, this method needs to... Yeah, handle gossip. Actually, just gonna take in a full self. Um, oh yeah, it's immutable. Yep, we're mutating you. Uh, remove this. Cool. Even better. Um, what else you got? Dead code. Never constructed. Oh, okay, cool. Thank you for that. Um, yeah, perfect. These were all related. Self.gossiphandler dot send a dot response in reply to look at that it's exactly what i wanted solve both of those at the same time uh dot unwrap this nice okay uh let's run b again How's it going, everybody? Hope everyone's having a good Wednesday evening. I'm really enjoying these Gossip Glomer challenges. They are a lot of fun. It's fun to think in these distributed systems type problems, and it's nice to have this, like, a uh, fun, uh, like, environment to do it in, where it, like, can test all these different things for me. Uh, ooh, this is not looking good. I got some net timeouts that I don't think are gonna be right. Yeah, things are broken. Awesome, what did I do? Uh, missing field type. Um, sending, received, sending, received, error. So I'm erroring on line 99 of common. That is in handle requests. Okay where we interesting so handle requests is saying that it got something that it didn't know how to handle it so what did it receive it received this which does not have a type um body why does body not have a type there Message ID message. Message ID message. That's a broadcast event, right? That's what our broadcast things look like, I think. Yeah, we're just missing the type broadcast from that. Okay. Um. What's supposed to stamp that in? And why didn't it happen? Okay. Um, did I make a commit? No, I did not make a commit after my channels, like I said I would. Oops. Okay. Uh, let's just take a look at- oh wait, maybe I did. Oh, I did. Okay. Cool. Handle gossip. Oh, handle gossip isn't right. I, I'm doing two th I'm doing both of these in handle gossip at the moment. Uh, so let's remove this, because that- can't be helping. I'm actually not sure I ever got to the bottom code that I meant to write, uh, just to the top code. I'm um, not really sure I think that's the problem. I think I'm still going to blow up on stuff, but we'll see. Yeah, those net timeouts. Yeah, I think we're like throwing errors still. I feel like that's not the right thing. I don't think I want a message of type broadcast. That's the issue. Um, and I think if I look at the diff, I will see where I'm doing the wrong thing. Because when I was... This. There we go. Oh, wait, no. Gossip Q. Yeah. This is what I'm missing, though. 
a um, few things. Gossip also is doing this still. Okay, well, okay. This send body doesn't want to be here. But this part of this wants to be somewhere. So in our gossip manager now. In our handle gossip method. There we go. Before we send this to standard out. There we go. We want to make a request body broadcast of our broadcast. And what that's going to do is that's going to make sure that um, um, that we get the type on there correctly. It's going to serialize with Saturday better this way. I think. Um, implicitly returns that. It wants to return something different. Um, oh, got it. Okay. Cool. Okay. Uh, we don't need to clone that anymore. Nice. Okay, looking good. We're not getting those timeouts again, so I think we are doing better there. Okay, waiting for the recovery there, but I think it's going to be good. Everything looks good. Awesome. Um, okay. Um, I think... Uh, actually, no, not, not yet. Um... Gossip channel should um, behave right now. I don't know. Um, the thing that I still need to add here is actually doing something again if we had um, if we had time. So I'm gonna like I think spam the network first. First here, handle gossip. Um, if it's empty, I think we're just gonna go through a self dot a gossip queue. And we're just gonna like resend them again. <laughs> um, function send gossip or something. Uh, okay, let's actually just do this. Can I just do this and say extract into function? Yes, I can. And I can call this send gossip. Awesome, and this is self dot send gossip. Um, and we're sending a broadcast and a destination string. Um, oh, yeah, we're gonna need that, aren't we? Oh, because inside broadcast, yeah, that doesn't have a destination. Um, and I think my gossip queue doesn't have the destination in it, but we can add it. Um, gossip queue here is a true a broadcast to its destination. Awesome. Um, a broadcast and the destination. We don't need that. We send gossip. Uh, wait, what does send gossip take? Uh, yep. <laughs> Uh, broadcast expected. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, yeah. Iter. Okay, yep, here we go. It's, we have, oh, we have two things now instead. We have the broadcast here, and then we have the, uh, destination. Um, so broadcast.clone, and then destination.clone. I think it's .clone, I don't know what it needs here. Yeah. Nice. Uh, send gossip. Doesn't return anything. Doesn't need an unwrap. Uh, what am I doing? Uh, can't move out of self because it is borrowed. I'm not trying to, am I? Uh, iter, that's for gossip queue. Yep. 
move occurs due to use of closure. Um, or B, yeah, that. No, not clone. Uh, dot iter. Yep, that. Huh. Um, okay. Let Q equals self dot gossip Q dot clone. Um, Q. Um, value of. Wait a second. What? self has type which does not implement copy yeah i don't want it to implement copy move occurs but self has type, which does not implement the copy trick what do we what is send oh that was silly um send gossip was just taking in the thing it didn't need to take in the thing okay can we even go back to doing this without the clone? Like this, that was silly. It shouldn't have been necessary. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So if you don't have something, you just like mass gossip to everyone else. Okay. And it's going to be super duper chatty. Um, but I think it'll work in the face of network conditions. We're going to work our way up through A all the way to C here though, just to see it work. Do, 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 do. Waiting for recovery. I think that's a good sign. Everything looks good. Okay, moving to B. This is a very chatty protocol. Um, like, as soon as we don't have something to gossip, we work through our queue and just start spamming things as fast as possible. Um, definitely doesn't seem like the best way to do it. And it looks like we might have run into an error somewhere, so that'll be fun. Yeah, so once we have multi-nodes, it does seem like we're getting an error at the moment. It's fine, but we will figure it out. Oh, everything looks good. Never mind. I wasn't getting errors in the middle. Awesome. Okay. Um. This may be gossips. Um, even in the face of network failure. And it def passes part A and B. And I think it's going to pass C. I mean, that's the goal here, is really that this one should be fault tolerant. It's going to be chatty. It's going to be really, really talkative when there's an outage, when there's like a network partition. But it should work. Fingers crossed. Okay, we're getting some thread run errors, but like we got those in the last one and it didn't hate it. Assertion failed. Invalid destination. Oh, yeah, that's absolutely possible because like that's the network partition time. I think. Let's see. Let's see. Analyzing. Everything looks good. Okay. There we go. Um, stable. Never read. Attempted 18. Never read. I don't know what that says. Stable count 1. Stable count one. Does that mean like it just got one message broadcast uh, successfully? Stats. Count 35. Okay count, fail count, info count. Broadcast. 
We got five okays back. 13 infos. Interesting. Availability valid true. We were available some percent of the time. Yeah, okay, so it's working. It, it passed. Um, cool. Cool. Um, I just don't understand how to read all of the data, but like that did pass. It did do what it was supposed to do. So let's, I guess, keep keep chugging along. And uh, there's an efficiency challenge. So efficient broadcast. And this is going to be the fun one. Um, they're going to increase the node count to 25 and add a 100 millisecond delay in each message to simulate a slow network. Um, your challenge is to achieve the following. Messages per operation is below 30. Median latency is below 400 and maximum latency is below 600. Um, and so I can ignore the topology I'm given and I can do whatever I feel like doing. Um, oh, and this is going to explain some stuff to me. Awesome. In the results ETN file, you'll find a net key with information about the number of network messages. The server's key shows just information between server nodes. And the messages per op shows the number of messages exchanged per logical operation. Almost all of our operations are broadcast or read in a 50-50 mix. Um, okay, so net servers has a send count receive count message count and messages per op of this the clients send oh okay about the same number of wait where is it where's the per broadcast read where do you get that not here hmm, okay in this example we exchange 63 messages per operation half of those are reads which require no inter-server messages that means we sent on average 126 messages per broadcast between 25 nodes, roughly five messages per node, per node. Yeah. Okay. So messages per op, I want it to be below 30. They got 63. Um, okay. So let's take this. We're going to make a run D. Um, and what is different from last time? Uh, broadcast, same binary, node count, we make it 25. Time limit is still 20. Rate is 100. Latency is 100. And this one is not adding the uh, partition. Okay, interesting. Oh, this one does not add the partition. This one's straight efficiency. Run D. Let's see what our efficiency looks like. I don't think it's going to be great. I do not think I made an efficient protocol. I think I made a very, very chatty protocol. Especially to send to 25 nodes. Like, we're going to be chatting. Um, yeah, I don't think this is going to be an efficient strategy do 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 okay analyzing wait okay i don't think that everything looks good um yeah i think i need to look at the results i don't think it actually uh uh, like, I think it ran successfully, but I don't think necessarily we can call it a success. Awesome. Okay. So this is their serve. It shows us the, the history and everything. So I think if I look at the results EDN of my most recent run. Cool. Okay. Net. Servers. Messages per operation. <laughs> so I want it to be... <laughs> oh my gosh, that's amazing. Um, the number I'm trying to get under for this efficiency challenge is 30. The messages per operation that I currently am running um, is 20,000. 643 um so that's a ton right that is a ton of messages per operation and i think it's just because i'm in a busy loop like 
especially for these 100 milliseconds, right? I'm not even giving it the time it takes to round trip. I am just spamming this. Um, and what other statistics do I care about here? Uh, let's open this here. Yeah, there we go. Um, medium latency. Uh, where am I going to find latency? Stable latencies. Under workload, you'll find a map of stable latencies. Workload. Stable latencies. There we go. Okay. Um, oops. These quantiles show the broadcast latency for the minimum, medium, blah, 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 latency requests. These latencies are measured from the time a request broadcast was acknowledged to when it was last missing from a read on any node. For example, yep, okay. So that one, and this is measured in milliseconds. So their max here is 794. What's my max? 198. Oh, wow. Okay, so my numbers are tiny. Because, like, it basically takes the network latency time. Like, because I'm just spamming things. So my latencies are great. Uh, what are we trying to get under in latency? Medium latency is below 400. So my max latency is under 200. So I, I have latency to spare. Um, maximum we can go up to 6. Yeah, so I have latency to spare, for sure. Um, I just don't have messages to spare. I'm sending way too many messages. Um, because like, oh my gosh, yeah, look how many messages the clients are sending. They can only send like 300 something, and I'm sending 3 million. Um, so let's stop sending messages a bazillion times a second. Uh, so that's going to be in handle gossip. Let's do let, uh, mutable last gossip. Yep. Awesome. Um... So then, yeah, when we're empty, um, let now equals this, uh, if, perfect. Um, awesome. Okay, so when we're looping, um, this has as seconds five, which I don't think we're going to want to do, but that's fine. So if the duration since the last time we gossiped is greater than five seconds, we do it again. Um... So like, let's do this as millis greater than a hundred. So you haven't done it in hundred milliseconds. Try again. Um, I imagine this will still work. I imagine this will send a lot less messages and hopefully be a bit more efficient. Uh, so this was basically just a busy loop before. It was just throwing stuff at this. Um, and now it won't. And... Waiting for recovery. I think that's just waiting for things to come down, but we will see. Okay... Everything looks good. Okay, what's our stable latencies? Oh, okay. Our max now is 700. And our and what we wanted to hit was 600. Okay, so our max latency is a little high now. What's our median? Oh, our median's 52. Okay. We have... So our max is high, but our median's really low still. Interesting. Okay, okay. And then what is our messages per operation? net okay well i think we reduced it by a lot but it's still twelve thousand messages per operation um what if we just try changing this parameter a little bit more uh what if you do 250 uh because if it's 100 round trip so 100 250 person padding This, I think, is more of a, we've actually timed out how long we think it'll take. Now it's time to retry. Um. 
so we're definitely making progress right now we're kind of we're doing the, the trade-offs here right of being like a super efficient system versus like a spamming the network kind of system i definitely think we are getting to higher read numbers like we made it to the 200s of elements added to this thing um and i think that kind of tells us how our system is scaling like if we're getting to bigger numbers i think that means we're, we're scaling better um, in some sense right it's not necessarily that we're hitting the targets that that this is looking for but we're definitely doing something um okay those stable latencies are about the same um a few numbers never came up as red which is interesting They got lost, a few of them, apparently. Or something. I don't know. Um, outcome stable. Stable latency. Got it. Okay, so this just tracks all of them. Um, I want to see my operations. Net. Messages broke. Okay, so we're under 10,000. Um, but we are, like, super high still. And so, like, I'm, I'm just a little curious. What if, like, is this... Like, do it a second. Or like every 10 seconds, right? No, 10 seconds is too much. Uh, every two seconds, right? So if the duration since last gossip is greater than two seconds, do them all again and set last gossip to now. Yeah, I'm kind of just curious why we're still above 10,000 um, messages per operation. I didn't expect to be. I guess like... 25 to the 25th power is just a, a lot, right? Uh, well, not 25 to the 25th power. It's 25 messages per. But then we need the response. So I guess we're at at least 50 now then, right? Oh, this one's working. Well, we got up to the 800s. So if it actually is gossiping correctly, that's a much better. We can get to much higher numbers. um oh okay stable latencies of medium of 90 max of 300 um and our messages per op dropped to under a thousand okay uh so this is along the right track one thing i'm really curious about is why I'm, I'm i'm surprised two seconds was as good of an answer to this as it was and i guess it's just because everyone's gonna rebroadcast in that amount of time right super interesting okay well uh, i'm gonna take it um we're not solved yet though uh what if we double this like we could just tune this number all day long apparently um, but this isn't even like being super smart, right? This is just every few seconds, if you still have things, just rebroadcast them. Like that actually seems like a relatively efficient gossip protocol to me. Um, but this is where my I don't actually know anything about distributed systems in the classically trained sense, so maybe I'm just wrong. Um, this is we got big there. Wow, that's not ordered, which is not unreasonable at all, but it's funny. Okay, 400 is our max, median still 90, and what's our operations per? Messages per operation, 600. Okay, so it's still a lot, um, but that makes sense. Um, because we're still doing a lot. Like, what if I make this, like, 10 seconds? I'm just curious, right? Now, like, we're really probably only going to do this, like, one or two times. Because, like, we have... I think we're only running for 20 seconds. And we're... Like, so we're really not going to give each thing that many chances to come back to life. But, like, maybe that's all you need, right? Because you only need one to get through. That's all that's important here. Seven oh nine, not bad. I think we made it to higher numbers before, though, when we were close to two seconds.
do 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 so much scrolling okay um still under 600 but or i made it under 600 but like not that that many um all server yeah okay that's yeah reasonable 767 which is a lot though so like we're really chatty i'm actually kind of curious what the part two is uh to get below 20 oh interesting so less messages per operation but you have more latency okay so i'm actually doing better on the, well not really messages per operation is below 30. i meant like double that or not double that 20 times that um okay so let's say this is like four seconds no uh, let's change this to about seconds because it just reads better um cool run this again just want to see but what i think what i actually want to do is like maybe you don't gossip to everybody maybe you just gossip to a few people um yeah can I make my protocol less chatty? Like, you do need a response. I do need a, yeah, I got it. That's, like, the whole part that's fault tolerant, right? Like, I, you send it. Yeah, I, I did get it. Um, so, yeah. Like, I could do something randomness-based, but that feels a little stressful in the sense of, like, what if, what if I don't send it to the right one? But that's not really a big deal, right? Because if it's going to gossip around, I could send it to like half each time. Or I guess I could follow the topo topology that they give me. Oh yeah, I don't even know if I'm following the topology they give me. Let's look at that. Um. Oh, let's take a look at our ops, but it's going to be a ton. uh yep 620 okay um but i'm pretty positive and by pretty positive i mean i'm pretty pretty positive that when we go um and this isn't in gossip this is below it but maybe i want to move it because i think i'd rather my gossip manager dealt with this um yeah yeah, okay, so sorry, what I'm thinking is, um, in, not my gossip manager, in the thing that has a gossip method, though. This method. Or, I guess the thing that calls that method. Because we call that in a loop. There we go. Okay. Yeah, so this just says, for nodes that aren't me, um, do the gossip thing. And I think what I'm actually going to want to switch this to is I think my gossip manager is going to be in charge of which set of peers to send it to and not sending it to the full list of 25 peers each time. Um, so I think I want to change some stuff around. So my gossip manager, um, this is going to get like a, a topology, which is a vec of strings, topology um, is... Uh, let's just do like nearest peers maybe is what I want to call this nearest peers um yeah yep okay um it's nearest peers and this is the peers we're gonna send to instead so when you handle a gossip if you get a bit of gossip it's not gonna have a destination anymore um it's just not gonna um and the gossip manager when it pulls it off it's gonna do self dot um uh, neighbor what did i call it oh i called it topology uh i don't really like that uh i don't know let's call it topology it's fine what things are calling it in other places uh topology dot iter Um, for destination in the topology, um, you do something like this. Uh, you add it to the queue and then you send the gossip. Um, 
Do I need to send gossip here? Not really. I could just send it in the loop. Does it matter? Probably not. Let's not mess with that right now. Um, okay, but when you get a bit of gossip, you broadcast it to everyone in your topology. Awesome. Um, nice. That's easy. That's all I needed to do there. Um, this then is wrong. So we want to gossip just the broadcast. This means we don't actually need the destination at all on this method anymore. Which means when we call the method down here, it just needs the broadcast. And that... Oh, interesting. Um, I have a generate message ID here. Um, yeah, that one's interesting. Because I need a message node. Um, okay, yeah, I think this is some um, restructuring that would need to happen because this thread's the only thing that can make... A message ID at the moment just because it's the thing that has that why is this generating message IDs well because they're in the broadcast that's annoying if message IDs weren't in the broadcast and they were in the message it could be the sender's job just to stamp things with a message ID but they're inside the broadcast slash they're like they're like inside everybody everybody has a message ID Um, I think what I probably want to do is this thing that can generate IDs needs to be shared across all of these. So that needs to be in. Oh, so now this generated thing is going to need an art, uh, an atomic uh, ID that we're going to share across everything. We could totally do it. I, I think I probably am going to do it. Um, I'm just trying to see if there's something else that I want to do instead. Um, I don't think there is. Topology, um, node.peers.clone. Um, yep. Um, but this still doesn't work yet because of this message ID. I'm gonna need to mess with that. Wait, what? Oh, 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 oh. In the loop. Because I was only doing with one before, I didn't need to clone it the second time. Now I need to clone it each time because he's, we're using the same broadcast. Um, except, like, that doesn't make sense. That's the whole problem is that I need... Yeah, so, like, Gossip really just wants to send the str string. Like, the message is the U64. Yeah, okay, so we should just Gossip the U64. Um, oh no, gossip queue does need to be of a broadcast. That makes sense. But gossip message, this isn't a broadcast. This is a U64 because you just you just want to gossip about a U64. Um, yeah, go to references of this. This we're gonna eventually replace with self dot gossip message and that's it yep that's the goal none of that and none of that oops um it's not unwrap uh oh self thought gossip still takes got it uh, it takes a U64 that we just pass on through now. Awesome. Okay. Um, now it wants the star message. Okay. Cool. So now we can just gossip about a message, but we are going to need the ID generation. Um, so if we send that over the wire, where's my next problem? Yep. Okay. A gossip is a U64. So then I need to do... Like, this should really be, like, message. Um, and then let broadcast equals something like this self dot uh like IDs 
dot generate message ID. Um, uh, send gossip. This is the broadcast. Um, okay, so now I just need to be able to generate this. This generate message ID needs to be something I can call on my gossip manager. Okay, so my gossip manager needs a new thing. It needs a IDs. Um, it, it could be a node, but... Wait, is that what I want? Can I just pass around? Wait, do I just want a... Rust Atomics. Yeah, I just want to like see something, right? Okay, so you make a new... Okay, awesome. So you do throw it in uh, in a reference counter, which makes sense. Um, and then you can just call the methods. Yeah, okay. The reference counting is just for copies. The atomic is so you can access it without a mutex. Got it. Um, and then, like, really, this is just an atomic... Uh, you look yeah so like that's basically what it's gonna be but I think I'm just gonna do struct ID generator um is um an ID generator does it just want to be this it is an atomic reference counted atomic u64 um that just got destroyed there. Does it want to... Is it just a wrapper over this, or is it a wrapper around the atomic reference counting? I don't think it's around the atomic reference counting. Yes, that is true. Okay. Um, and then I want to do impl for ID generator. Um, generate message ID. Fetch add. Sequential cast. Perfect. Perfect. Um... Fetch, add, fetching gets the old one, then we add to it. Um, adds to the current value, returning the previous value. Yep, perfect. Um, this ID. Uh, this ID, perfect, because it's the previous value, not the next value. I felt like that was confusing. Um, okay. And comic reference counted um, ID generator. That is also something that I can give to my... Yeah, I think we're going to have to go all the way to node here. Um, I think I need ID generator to be pulled out. Um, and then where's my message ideable? Perfect. Um, input, um, uh, sure. Um, impl message ideable or nope for ID generator. Oops. Um, oh yeah, ID generator. You should be debuggable. Drive debug. Um, yeah. Atomic U64. Import it. Yep. Awesome. Okay. Um, implement the missing members. Uh, self dot generate message ID. Um, I really should just do this. Do Ba -doop, ba -doop. Get rid of this. Um, oh, cool, because it is a U64. That just works fine. Awesome. Um, yeah, you don't have that anymore. IDs. Um, I guess, yeah, you're going to need to get a new one of these. Uh, and it's going to be the full thing. You're going to get a... Whole, uh, um, a a reference counted ID generator and you're just going to use it nice and easy. 
Um, awesome. Okay. So now let's like uh, for node. Yep. This just now does self dot IDs dot generate message ID. Nice. Okay. So now when I make one, I think that's where all the fun's gonna be. Simple make new node for node. Um. Okay. That's fine. Make new node for node. That's fine. Um, I just then want this to be public, like I want it anyways, but that's totally okay. So then in here, um, uh, let IDs equal ID generator new atomic 64 let ids equals yep ids yep awesome okay um that's probably gonna break m most of these oh i uh, can't borrow data data if it's required through this not implemented for this uh huh What's it telling me? Can't borrow data as mutable. Uh, DREF mute is required to modify theory dereference, but it's not implemented for this. Uh, I thought that was like the whole point of what I'm working on here. Uh, is that it should be able to do that. Um, is it that... Fetch it. Is that what it is? Uh, atomic U64. Yep. Um, is it just that? Fetch add. Just takes it. Yeah, that's the answer. Um, generate message ID on this. Doesn't need that. Oh, uh, that's funny. Um, okay, then you're just not gonna always need to be mutable. Yeah, we just don't need to be mutable anymore. That's just what we're going to say. Um, ID generator is a public struct. Um, awesome. Can't define inherent impl from outside the create. What's this yelling at me for? Oh, uh, I think that's just because I rewrote it in a different spot. Um, sure, whatever. Clean it up. Um, missing, missing. Oh yeah, sure, just return the thing. Awesome, okay. Um, IDs equals, we're gonna clone the, the, um, node.ids. Yay, awesome, okay. That wasn't bad at all. Um, oh cool, this doesn't need to do that. Um, though I think, I want to do it like a layer down, probably, in gossip. Um, no, in my gossip handler. Yeah, oops, I didn't think about that. Um, cool, here's my gossip manager. Um, for, yep, this topology. Um, dot iter, dot filter. Cool. Make sure that we aren't sending to ourselves. Um... Awesome. So all that does, though, is just get the topology from uh, the peers. Like, we're not actually doing anything fancy yet. Um, and we do get topology messages from uh, my, my Maelstrom, and we're just ignoring them at the moment. I think the first step is to, like, listen to them and just do exactly what it says for topology. Um, so let's try that. Um, but let's actually just make sure that this, like, can still do things. Let's actually make sure it can still run the partition one. Because that one's, I think, the most interesting at the moment. The efficiency ones are interesting in terms of, like, measuring efficiency. But this is the one that's actually, like, creating errors and stuff we want to test. Cool. 
everything's still looking good over there. Um, my stable latencies are very high, but I don't think that's uh, a good comparison point. Uh, net. Ooh, 21 messages per operation. Again, I don't think that, uh, I don't think I actually changed anything, so I think that's just a, just a different test. <laughs> Given different results. Uh, but let's try a big one. I want, I did want to see where the big one ends up. Because now I got curious. It shouldn't have changed anything, though, is the goal here. Okay, looking good on that front. We got into almost the 800s again. Uh, but again, I don't think that's actually because we changed anything. I think that's just because we got a little lucky. All looking good. Latencies are pretty low, as to be expected, I think. Um, And our message prop, yeah, around that 600 still. We've been seeing this whole time. Okay, awesome. Um move topology logic into the gossip manager um yeah so now we just push that logic down and we're only a few steps away from implementing at least this first version of doing something a little better with topology um so let's look at our gossip messages I'm gonna add a new one uh, we're gonna add a topology event um and it has a vec of string awesome um what are we gonna do when we get that No. Fill in. Why aren't you filling in match arm? I don't like it. Awesome. If you get a topology, save it to yourself. Yeah, I know it's not constructed yet. We're getting there. Okay, so then when we handle requests from this thing, if you get a topology event, you are going to return the OK or the sum, you know, with the with the OK response. But first, what you're going to do is do self.gossiphandler.send a gossip message for topology. Um, and then, yeah. So what does topology actually have? It just has, I just have it as a, as a value here. Um, okay. Well, let's take a look and see what it's actually going to be. Um, yeah. Okay. Let's go to the first one because I think the, the first one links to this this will tell me what the topology event is it's a array of strength okay um change it to a back of strengths um and then i think this is it. like we should just now have topology which is a back of strings that i can just send over here nice um found reference why do I have a reference here? Oh, because I have a reference in one of these things. Beautiful. Let's clone it. Boom. Got to unwrap it. Uh, do I have to unwrap it? Can I... Can I do that? No. We're unwrapping. We're also not doing very good error handling at the moment, but that's okay. We will add stuff like that later. Um. So now... Where you should be handling topology in the way that I wanted to. That was like a lot easier. I almost confused myself at the end because I thought there was gonna be more stuff I needed. But let's try this efficiency challenge with using the topologies given to us by Maelstrom. Um completely blows up. Um invalid type map and expected a sequence. Wait, what? Um received this topology event. Oh, 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 we got a topology for each node. Okay. Um, totally reasonable. That's just not what I was expecting to get. Okay, let's look at that topology message again. Not the gossip message one, this one. That's not right. Um, it's like a hash map of string. The back of strings at the moment. Um, so then when we go to use this topology in handle request, yep, um, let this node topology, this node topology, uh, no, is topology.get, uh, self.node id unwrap 
offload this is then this notes topology. Perfect. Um, so from all the topologies, we only care about the one for this node. We do that. Maybe eventually we would want to handle the whole thing. Um, so we had it. If we don't right now. Let's try this out. Okay. We're doing, you know, numbers are big. Terminals flashing real fast. Looks like we're maybe making it farther than last time. Yeah, I see some 800s. We got 822, 842. We got some big numbers here. Tearing everything down. Okay. Stable latencies. Our stable latencies are higher. That's like kind of expected. Our max is 882. So we're um, out of our of our what we want to be in. But that's okay. Our messages or op messages per operations lower. Like we'll be we'll be in a better spot. 81. That is so much smaller than it was before. That is kind of crazy. Uh, so now we're at 81 messages per operation. Um and we were at 20,000 to start with. We made it down to like 8,000, 6,000 or something. Um, so we're, we're doing way better. Um, we are not within either metric anymore, though. I think we're closer. Um, okay, so we want to get below 30 for messages per operation and below 600 max. Okay, so I want to try in our gossip handler. Handle gossip. Uh, this four seconds. Let's change this to two. I just want to see how this affects things. So we're still not spamming it to everyone. We're still just spamming it to our list, and we're going to do it twice as fast. But we're going to do it every two seconds instead of four. So like, if we have a network partition, it'll only take us two seconds to recover, not four. Worst case. Um, I think these things are mostly idle. So like, I don't think. I think. Recovering faster might be better here, but it's definitely going to be chatty if the network outage is longer than this. Hey, we made it up to 883, so we're definitely that that seems better than it was before. And I think what I want to know here really, okay, so so our um, we're still pretty long on our wait, um, and I think messages per op is going to be higher this time than before. 87. Yeah, so we're still under 100. We're doing way better than we were like a little while ago. But, but like, you know, we're, we're taking a while. This means that messages are often duplicated in route to other nodes and latencies are on the order of 2 times square root n network delays. Latencies are in the terms of 2 times square root of n network delays. Huh. Interesting. I'm not understanding that, how we get to that, but that's okay. Um, yeah, so we're trying to get below 30. Actually, what's the second one? Just because I, I think we want it under 20, right? Okay. Um, so how are we going to get less messages per operation? The thing that we did was only sending it to neighbors with the topology. That was beautiful. Super, super great. Um... What else can we do? Because, like, I could always invent my own topologies, right? Like, I don't have to be using the ones that come from, um, Maelstrom. Let's actually, like, I want to try some. I want to, I want to play around with some, some stuff. What if we make this, like, 200 milliseconds again? Like, if it's been more than 200 milliseconds, try again. Networks are only going to be down for a second. They're just going to blip. They're going to come right back up, and we can keep hammering. That's the thought. Um, I'm thinking this is way slow. Like, we're not making nearly as many um, requests. Getting more invalid destinations.
Yeah, okay. Um, it didn't work this time. Wait, but that's interesting, right? Because I didn't change anything here. Like, I changed the num the, the time here. Oh, 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 I did less. I, yeah, okay. Um, oops, I said, well, it's less than. Uh, so we're not waiting. We're in a busy loop again. We're doing, we're doing silly stuff. And then if it took too long, if, if we don't respond for that 200 milliseconds busy loop, it just gives up and never tries again. So that wasn't what we wanted. Um, what we probably want to do is some kind of exponential backup algorithm here, actually. Yeah, I could write an, an exponential backup algorithm. Yeah, maybe maybe that's what we try doing. Um, stable latencies are under a second total, but not amazing, amazing. Um, net 160. Oh, so we went back up. That makes sense. We're, we're chattier now, right? We're, we're, we're more yelly about things. Um, yeah, let's try doing like a retries based on how many times you've tried something, something, something. Um... Just thinking how I want to do this. Um, I think my gossip queue is completely internal to me, though. Um, so my gossip queue is broadcast string and then like a an instant maybe is actually what I want. Um, so that when you get something to gossip, you can do now. Yeah. Always, always wanting to do it. And actually, let's just do this. Let now equals instant dot now and we'll send now don't need to do it in a loop though no. <laughs> except i still had it in a loop perfect oh is this broadcast oh no we need to generate a new thing so it does need to be there perfect okay um yeah okay so if you got a response yeah we don't care about the timestamp um it can be ignored um awesome here is where we're gonna change something so we're gonna Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna run through something. Um, last gossip now. Is that what I want? No. And I actually need something else here too, sorry. Um, so let's actually make a struct for this. Let's make a struct for um job. It's actually just gonna be a job, yeah. Um it has a broadcast. Broadcast of broadcast. It's got a destination, which is a string. Um, it's got a uh, run at, which is an instant, and it's got attempts, which is a U32. Sure. Um, and then gossip queue is just a bunch of jobs. Awesome. Okay. Let job equals job broadcast destination run at now attempts zero. Perfect. Add a new job to the queue. Great. Okay. Um, job, job dot broadcast dot message ID for job, uh, job dot broadcast dot clone, um, job dot destination dot clone. Okay, we don't need last gossip. We do need a now, um, if job dot run at is less than or equal to now we run it um and we do some okay can we make this a iter mute yep uh can't borrow stuff as immutable because it's also borrowed as mutable Yes. Yeah, that's fair. Um, let 
node ID. I can actually just do this, uh, make this not take in self anymore. And then this can just be node ID. Um, oh, nope, I need the standard out sender. Okay. Um, 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 um. Yeah, like I only want to take gossip cues as mutable. Oh, yeah, I've just set gossip. Whoa. Oh, yeah, it, it just has this still. Yeah, this is just wrong. Okay, no, that's back to normal. Um, do, do, to do. Because I do want to go through these mutatively so that I can edit the job underneath. Um... Send here, which takes a reference. So maybe I just need to change some things around. Oh yeah, okay, so let's actually, um, for my job, info job, uh, function send. Yeah, um, that's obviously not right, but like, what do you need to send it? You need these things, so standard out sender. Like, that can be something you take in. Um, is a sender of string. And then we need a broadcast and a destination. We actually don't need these. We just need a node ID. Those come from me. Um, node ID. Node ID. Um, self.broadcast. Uh, reference to self, self.broadcast, self.destination.clone, that needs a dot .clone. Okay, so now we can send a job just by passing it though, that and that. So then here, can I do job.send that and that? Um, self. Dot and self. Dot. Um, open, let, uh, standard out, sender. Oh wait, I could clone the sender? Oh, maybe, but I, what if I don't want to? Um, expected reference found struct. Yes, okay. Um, self.nodeid.clone. Awesome. Okay. Um, um, Job doesn't implement clone. Let's make job implement clone. Uh, derive, yeah, all the things. I actually don't want serialized, deserialized. Um, awesome. Uh, send gossip doesn't exist anymore because we have jobs that we can hit send on. Love that. We got a job queue going. Okay, so if you send a job. Oh, wait. Oh, cool. Because it can take a mutable reference to itself um, and then say self.attempts uh, plus equals one. Um, and actually, let's add a enqueued at instant. In queued at uh, can't borrow jobs immutable as it is declared as nothing. Oh, let's make it mutable. Okay.
Um, and is it fine that... Oh, and actually, let's... I think I don't want to send this here anymore. I think I want to let... Just let my job queue deal with it. So no cloning it. No making it mutable here. Just send it in my job queue. Um, and now we don't have any delay in my job queue because of the thing. Yep, so if run at now, then we send it. Um, okay, yeah, so then, like, delayed job, uh, back off. So, like, there's a, I use delayed job for my job processing all the time, and it has a, a back off, uh, exponent, run at, um, pretty positive, there's a, uh, uh, well, I know it's here. I just don't know exactly where it lives to know how to find it. There's a thing that um, sets the um, run ats in like a uh, exponential back off. So when it fails the first time, it gets queued for like one second later, um, then something like that. And I guess I can just write this. Like I know what I want to do. Um, so let um delay equals oh actually i don't know if i need enqueued at because i'm just gonna have it be a delay from now yeah i don't want enqueued at anymore i lied no more enqueued at okay but we also don't need last gossip um okay so the delay is um 100 milliseconds to the power yeah okay um 100 dot pow to the power of self dot attempts. Um uh U thirty U sixty four. Um yeah, and then I don't need to make it as a U sixty four, it'll already be one. Okay. Um and then self dot run at uh now plus delay. So if you've sent it, you need, we want to re enqueue you for 100 milliseconds from this. Um, and then like 100 to the second power um, is already way too many milliseconds. Then we're already at 10 seconds. So I don't want that. Um, yeah, like, okay. Okay. Let's just look at the code. Delayed. Um, I th think it's gonna be in worker, and I think it's gonna be in here. If we scroll down, I think yeah, reschedule. Uh, job dot reschedule app. Okay. Um, oh, okay. It doesn't look like this is defined here, which is maybe why I wasn't finding it. But if I now look in delayed job active record, this is the actual implementation that sits on top of it that I use. I imagine this job has a... Do, 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 do. It's got a... No. So where is this thing? I'm looking for a method called reschedule app. Yeah. Mm hmm. Reschedule app. Offset. Time plus offset. And that doesn't even take attempts into account. Okay, so I'm going to go with what I was saying before, and that it's not in this one. So is it in this one? No! Wait a second. Um, I just really thought that's where that logic was going to live. I just want to take it- oh, there we go. Uh, the job is scheduled again in five seconds plus n to the fourth, where n is the number of attempts. Okay. Uh, times n to the fourth. 
where n is the number of attempts. Um, okay, so then I want like, uh, let blah equals 5 as a u64. No, 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 that's not it. It's n to the fourth. It's attempts, self dot attempts to the fourth. Self dot attempts, how four. Um, delay is gonna be like 1,100 plus blah. Um, and this is gonna be like a, a attempt delay. Uh, or like back off delay. Back off delay. Um, from Millie's wants a U64, so I just want to tell you that you're a U64. Oh, attempts is a U32. Got it. Now it's not. Okay. Um, so now then, we don't. When we're empty, we just run through all of our things and see if we have anything we can run. Okay. I like that. I actually like that a lot better. See how it goes. Um, I have it waiting at 100 milliseconds as our first thing. That's definitely tunable, and so is this algorithm for, for back off. Everything's tunable. But this looks good. I, I like I like how this is looking. Okay, that actually might not be farther than things have gotten before. That's okay. We got to 809. Oh no, I see some bigger numbers. 811. Yep. 834. Flashed there. Okay, so we're at just about one second stable latency. And moment of truth. Our operations. Messages for operation is 175. Okay, so we're still at a lot of messages for op per operation. I'm actually surprised it's that high this time. Um, can I make this 500? Well, actually, this was in seconds, right? So, okay, let's let's think about this. So, one attempt to the fourth power is that. Two attempts to the fourth power. Oh, yeah, I need to times this by something. Um... That can be, so like, 100 milliseconds, 10 milliseconds, times 10? Times 10, that would be 160 milliseconds, 810 milliseconds, yeah, so let's do times 10. Um, so like, uh, uh, attempts... Um, equals one gets to, uh, that's not the right answer there. Um, one to the fourth times 10 is, is, is 10, 10 milliseconds. Um, and then attempts of two, no, like you're just not mathing, right? Two to the fourth times 10 is 160. You, you will this one? No, that's still not the right answer. Okay, well, that'll work. Um, Copilot was not doing good on that math there. So that backup, this back off algorithm makes a lot more sense. The other one was really just 100 milliseconds. It wasn't actually adding any exponential back off on my um, things. So. Will we get farther? Um, I'm thinking potentially. Um, I saw some 800s, but then then I spoke too soon and we're done. Um, I'm thinking we're in the same ballpark. I'm not sure this like did a lot better. Same ballpark, about 900 as our max. Uh, 515 as our mid. So like we're really close there. Um. But our ops are still going to be very high. Um, 75. Okay. We're, we're making progress, but like that's still high. Um, 
Oh, we even have five. Oh, 500 might be too long as our as our initial delay. Like const um constant delay uh milliseconds. Uh it's 200, yeah. Um let's try 200. Let's see how that works. Um we might even need fewer attempts and everything. Um I even might want to go lower than 200. I might want to go like 100 because like the meh, two, meh, meh, something like this is probably reasonable. There we go. That got some good. Yep, 8 880 841. There we go. But that's still pretty good. Tearing down everybody. Everything looking good. Okay, the latencies aren't changing that much. Um, 133. Ooh, so we went up a lot there without changing the latencies too much. So that's pretty interesting. Um. And like, I don't know about four. I don't, I don't know about this thing to the fourth power times 10 thing. It's, it's very arbitrary. Um, I don't even know how many attempts we're getting. That would be really interesting. Um. E print line. I just want that. Like, I don't even think I want anything else. I just want to. I just want to see. I just want to see some attempts. Um, and then I think we're probably gonna wrap up here soon. Um, I have so much fun on this that I could keep going for a while. But we're about at just two hours, just over two hours. Um. So I think that'll be a good time to wrap up um, after one or two more tests here. I want to see how many attempts we're getting. Like if we're ever seeing multiple attempts, like this will be, yeah, this will be good. This will teach me, this will teach me some good information here about this. Um, I really shouldn't be error print lining from this other thread. Uh, it's bad practice. Um, I might mess up my debug lines, but since they're not actually critical, I'm not worried about it. It's, you know. Okay. Again, those are looking about the same. Um. Oh, yeah, that was a little silly. Um, of course it was going to look the same. Uh, that, um, in the store, there is the latest, um, node logs. Oh, any of them. Attempt one, attempt one, attempt one. Oh, well, first of all, that's interesting. Attempt one, um, is everywhere. Attempt two. Okay, so yep, we did have an attempt to, yep, some attempt to, uh, attempt three, never an attempt three in those ones, interesting, um, rip grep over store latest node logs, um, for attempt three, I don't actually know if this syntax is right, yeah, um, tldr rip grep, um, okay, so I should probably do this, should go into stores, store latest node logs, and now I can just do rip grep, uh, attempts three, uh, attempts two, uh, okay, so it's just not working right then, um, oh, and it's, oh, it's just the opposite of this one, and I'd rather do it that way. I guess I could also just do from it here, right? Um, but that's like not working. Um, dash F for attempt three for attempt. Okay. Um, oh, 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 because I need to tell it to, um, look and get ignored things. Perfect. Attempt two. Yep. We've got some attempt twos. Do we have any attempt threes? 
no attempt threes. Okay. So it either takes one or two tries at the moment. Um, we never have anything that takes more than that. Um, so one thing is, though, let's not increase attempts until the end. Um, I didn't want to owe a, you know, zero is a fine number. Uh, temps zero, uh, zero milliseconds, right? Zero to the fourth, zero to the fourth. Yeah, that's what I thought. Zero times zero times zero is still zero. Um, yeah, and then that's, no, huh. Yeah, so this actually probably isn't what I want. Then I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to make this different. Um, because we, like, basically don't make it to attempts one very often. So we have a... Um, this is for rescheduling, so that actually does mean we've done an attempt already. Yep, that's fair. We have done an attempt already. This is, when are you going to reschedule your next attempt? Fair. So it's 300, and then 400. What if we make it, like, way easier? Uh, delay equals self dot attempts times 200 plus 100. Just, like, 200 for each attempt. Um, add 100. Because I feel like I feel like it. Um, let's give this one more try, and then I think we're gonna wrap up here. Um, yeah, since we never made it to many attempts, like we don't need this whole fancy back. Like, you know, I like exponential back off. I don't think this was the correct case for it necessarily. That's the best one. Like, that's definitely the farthest we've made it so far. Um, awesome. But we're under 900. Almost at 500 for our median. I like that. What's our ops? This is probably better than before. Um, 81. Okay, so not amazing, but not awful. Not awful. Um, attempts. Uh, yeah, and I don't even know if I need this, right? Like, or just 200 an attempt. That's probably enough. Um, that's two, four, six. You know, probably didn't need three, five. Save 100 milliseconds there, maybe. I don't know. Um, this is something I can play with too. Um, but yeah, okay. So let's let's plan on wrapping up after this here. Um, we're getting pretty close on this efficiency challenge now we can at least tune things i feel like i'm in a world where i can i can make progress against this and maybe just need to figure, figure out a different algorithm for for sending between nodes here a different topology um yeah okay let's see what this one says yeah about the same this one's a little slower but not Oh, actually, no, we did change something, so, like, maybe that was relevant. Maybe the old one was a little better. Also could have just been a little different. Uh, 145, so, yeah, about about the same there. Um, okay, well, this was a lot of fun. I'm having a lot of fun with these Gossip Glomer challenges, but I think I am going to wrap up for this evening. We got through a good bit of the efficiency one. I reorganized into all the threads that I was going to need to do for these ideas, and uh, we're making progress. So, if, like, one node doesn't get it, we do resend. We try again with some back off and uh yeah we will be playing with this some more i'm really having fun with these so if you keep tuning in we will keep making progress but thanks for joining me and uh i'll see everyone later have a good week bye